My name is Cindy Chang and I am the Executive Director here at the Midwest Museum of Natural History. So that is a fancy title to say that I manage and help organize all of the exhibits and the educational programming here at the museum and make sure that everything really runs smoothly. What makes a carnivore a carnivore are their sharp, pointy teeth and the fact that they will only eat meat. So they don't like any vegetables, they don't like any fruits. Really that's because their bodies are made to process the meat. What they need is a lot of protein and energy and they just would not be able to get that only from eating uh, grasses and fruits and veggies. If we tried to feed a carnivore a vegetarian diet, they wouldn't eat it. Um, they might sniff around it, they might show a little bit of interest about what is this, but they will not eat it. Okay, so carnivores are important in the environment because if we didn't have carnivores, we wouldn't have any kind of population control for any um, animals like rabbits. So when we look at wolves, for example, they help make sure that all of these rabbits don't take over. Lions, wolves, and sharks all eat meat. So lions typically will eat something like a gazelle or maybe a zebra, um, and they can try to eat something larger, but of course, all of those animals are going to fight back, so really the lioness will go with whatever she can catch. I guess my favorite carnivore would be the lion. Maybe it's just because we have so many lions here at the museum, but I have a soft spot for them. So would lions, sharks, and wolves eat people? That's a good question. Maybe they would, but only if they were really desperate, and typically they wouldn't want to. They're more interested in their regular diet, and people are not part of that. People are really at the top of the food chain, so we don't need to worry about that. Humans are actually omnivores, and the best way to think about that is the fact that we like to eat meat and fruits and veggies. Or some people like to only eat vegetables, and those would be vegetarians, right? But we're made to eat both fruits, veggies, and meat, right? So when we look at our teeth, for example, we have sharp teeth to help us cut into the meat, and we have flat molars in the back to help us grind up all of the plants. If kids want to learn more about carnivores, they can come here to the Midwest Museum of Natural History in Sycamore. They can visit our website at mmnh.org, or they can go ahead and start studying biology, zoology, natural history, or go online and find some more resources.